Hey artists, today we're going to draw and paint this glass of lemonade. Make sure you have a pencil, an eraser, a sharpie, watercolor paper, watercolor paints, a glass of water, paint brushes, and a paper towel. It's important to have the correct supplies for this style of painting, especially the watercolor paper and the sharpie. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is grab our pencils and we're going to start with the cup. So we'll start with kind of an eyeball shape like this. That'll be the top of the glass. And then we're gonna start from these two points and go down. You don't want it perfectly straight, you want it kind of curved, curved in. And then same on this side, kind of curve it in a little. And then we have our glass. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add this little lemon slice at the top. So we want a nice circle here. You can use something in your house if you want to make it more of a circle shape. Uh, inside of that circle, we're gonna draw another circle. So that's this outside part of the lemon. And then we have these little triangles in here. So for the triangles, you can go ahead and draw one triangle up here. And then from that one, let's draw the other one. The point should be, should be point to point. So here's a point, here's a point. And then we're gonna draw one beside here and then another point to point. These two are together. And then one more pair that will have point to point. So these two points are pointing to each other here and here. Okay, then we have our lemon slice. Next, we're gonna draw this top part of the lemonade. So we're gonna do the same shape that we did up here but we're gonna go down the glass a little, draw up and then down. That's the top of the lemonade. We can go ahead and start drawing in some of these ice cubes. So these are meant to look a little 3D. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We just have to draw a square first. And then from that square, let's draw a line up, a line up and a line up. And then we're gonna connect these two and connect these two like that. We'll draw one over here. So let's do the square. We're gonna have kind of go behind this square a little. Drew that line a little too long. But you can see that point's kind of hit, hidden back there. And then we'll, we'll pretend we see this point. It would be right here. So we're gonna draw this line up and then connect like we did before down and then connect. All right, we'll draw one more ice cube over here. We're gonna draw another square like this. From here, let's draw down, 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 and then connect. And then you should have three ice cubes. Next, we're gonna go ahead and draw our first lemon. So let's start here, curve upward like this. Okay, that's the top of the lemon. Next, we're gonna do the bottom of the lemon. So again, it's kind of like an eye shape, but we're not connecting because we're gonna draw these two little C shapes on the outside of the lemon, like that. We can draw this lemon back here behind. So from about here on the cup, let's curve downward and then draw this little C shape. And that one's kind of behind the other lemon and the cup, okay? I have two little leaves coming off, so to draw the leaves, we just wanna go up and down, and then up and down, and then draw two little lines inside of there. We need one more lemon over here, so about maybe here. Let's curve up, and then same for the bottom as we did before. And then we're gonna just draw this little C shape on either side. You can see this one is behind the other one. And then we have one more leaf up and down and then a line. All right, I think the last thing we need to draw is the straw here. So let's start about here and just draw a straight line. Once we hit that ice cube, let's stop and then pretend we're gonna keep drawing and then start again. 
pretend we're drawing and there's no more here. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same line, but start a little further down. And we're gonna do the same thing. Draw until we hit an ice cube, stop. Pretend we're drawing down and then pretend we're drawing. Okay, so that straw is behind those ice cubes. All right, next thing, we're just gonna go from this point out and this point out, and then we'll draw the inside of the straw here, which is just like an oval shape. Okay, I drew the little bendy lines. So for that, let's go point to point and then kind of draw these lines in like this until they're straight and then until they're straight. I might even add one more there. All right, now I drew polka dots on this straw. You can do that if you want or you don't have to. Um, I may leave them off on this second drawing, but when you are done with your pencil, you can go ahead and grab your Sharpie and then we're gonna go over all of these lines that we just made. You can see I made some of these outside lines a little thicker, especially like on this glass. You can do that and then leave these inside lines a little thinner. Um, you can also add these little dots to the lemon if you would like. And then once we're done with our Sharpie, we'll go ahead and move to the next step. Okay, I think I'm all done with my Sharpie. So next thing I'm gonna do is grab my eraser and erase any pencil marks that I can still see. Okay, now that we are done with that, we're gonna go ahead and take our paper towel and a paintbrush and we're gonna start painting. So I'm going to take my bigger brush here and I'm gonna start at this lemon. So what I'm gonna do is fill this entire lemon in with water careful not to get outside of the lemon here. You don't want it super wet, just a little wet. And then I'm gonna take a very little bit of yellow and I'm gonna fill that in. Remember, you don't want it to be super dark yellow, just a very light yellow for now. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for all of this um, lemonade here. You don't want to get into the straw, but you can go over the ice because we're going to do this super, super light. So I'm filling this in with the ice included, just with light water. And then very light yellow. Oh, that's not your light. Okay. Um, I'm going to add some water to that to dilute a little. I'm going to put some of that on the outside of the ice cube. As we're getting lighter here, less paint, I'm going to go ahead over the ice cubes with just a little bit of that yellow. But I will show you what we will do next then. So that's supposed to be a little lighter than what I just did, but that's okay. All right, we're going to let that go ahead and dry for a few minutes here, and then we're going to work on these leaves while we're waiting. So I'm going to grab a smaller brush for this. And I'm gonna fill these in with some water, just like we just did. And I'm gonna take my green. I chose like a brighter green. But you can pick whatever green you'd like. And I'm gonna go ahead on the bottom here, along the bottom of this leaf and the bottom here. You want it to be a little darker back behind this lemon here, because there's gonna be a shadow. And then on this crease of the leaf, okay. So I do that first, and then I just kind of added some water and let it move its way up through the leaf there so it's darker on the bottom. You can even go in with a darker green then. Let me go ahead and add some of this green over here too. So again, darker by the lemon there, and then just pull it up. And then if you would like, you can grab a little bit of this darker green 
and just kind of go along those darker spots and that gives it a little bit more color and also makes it a little darker. So then you can just take your water and you can see I'm using kind of a circular motion here to blend it. Now on those leaves, I also added some yellow. So for the yellow, I'm just gonna take some on my brush and then dab those lighter spots. That's kind of like the sun is hitting those leaves. Okay, just like that. All right, I think our lemon is probably about dry enough to do our next step. So for this lemon up here, you can see it's lighter in here, which is what we just did, and darker here. So what I'm gonna do is take another layer of yellow, and I'm only going to do this outside part and those triangles. Like that, and then I'm gonna do the triangles next. All right, just like that. All right, and so we're gonna do some more of the lemonade next. So we're not gonna probably go over these ice cubes too much more. Maybe a little bit just down here in the corners. You can make a little darker if you want like this, but you don't wanna go over it too much because you still want them to look like ice cubes. Okay, so that is probably the darkest we wanna go with that. For the rest, we want it darker up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that yellow and we're gonna go darker this time and we're gonna go over that like this. So this top part can be the darkest. And then along these edges, we want darker. These two edges. Be careful about getting into the ice cube there. Now under the ice cubes, you can make it a little darker. That'll just make your ice cubes pop a little bit more. And also right along this bottom edge where these lemons are sitting, that's gonna cast a shadow, so you want it darker in there too. And then we're just blending until everything kind of blends in together. Now over here, I also added a tinge of orange for the darkest areas. So again, up here you went dark. You can see a very, very light orange, not very much at all. And then along the sides here, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of orange and down here in the shadow. And then you can blend that in. And that just gives it a little more dark tone and also a little bit more color. All right, so now I think our lemonade is completely done. So next thing we're gonna do is work on our lemons while that lemonade dries a little bit. So I'm gonna grab my bigger brush again and I'm gonna fill in the first lemon. I'm gonna grab some yellow paint here and start going over that lemon. We want it darkest near the bottom and lightest near the top. So if you want, we can go ahead and fill, let's just go ahead and fill all these lemons in with a light um, layer of yellow paint here. You can, you can start at the base if you want of the lemon, the bottom, and work your way up. But I will show you how to make those highlights, or I mean shadows a little darker on your lemons then. All right, so the contrasting color for yellow is purple. So when you wanna make a shadow a little darker, you can take a little bit of purple. Ah, I got blue there. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of purple and then just very lightly go along the bottom of the lemon and where you want it darker. If 
This lemon in the back here should be the darkest because it is kind of hidden behind that other lemon and the glass. So once you get your purple in there, just grab some water and kind of blend, blend it around a little just at the bottom. You can see then it has a little bit of a shadow. And then you can even go back with your yellow. You can go back over that purple and blend a little bit more. Just like that. All right. I think I'm all done with those lemons. So next thing I'm going to do is the straw. I chose a red straw over here. I think I'll go ahead and do a purple straw on this side. I'm just going to take my purple paint and fill that in. If you want to add some shadow, you can just go ahead around the ice cubes and make it a little darker and like under here and then also along these lines like this. So I'm just filling in the darker portions right now and then you can go ahead and take some water and start blending it. Like that. And then the inside of the straw you're going to want dark so fill that in with some dark purple or whatever color you chose. Okay. All right, the last thing, if you would like, you can add a shadow at the bottom. I will show you how to do that. So again, the purple creates a shadow for yellow. So I went ahead and just made my brush wet and I went where I would like a shadow, kind of just scribbly like this. And then I took some yellow paint and fill that in very lightly. Okay. And then again with the purple, we're going to grab a little bit of purple. You want it darkest right in here under these lemons. Now it might be scary when you first put it on the page when it looks like it's super, super purple, but you can see as I'm blending, it's turning into more of a brownish, grayish color, which looks a little bit more like a shadow. So we're just moving that along like that. And then you can go ahead with some water and get those edges a little bit more blended out. Just like that. All right. I think I'm all done with my lemonade. If you enjoy doing this art project with me, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see when I release new videos. I would love to make art with you again soon. Most importantly, keep creating. I'll see you next time. Bye.